Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's certainly my pleasure to introduce Jim Cornette. Well, you're right for once. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce the human highlight film of professional wrestling, beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan, The Midnight Express. Filling the Kaiser Convention Center. But Cornette really had a good time out in San Francisco, I understand. And we're glad that he's feeling better than the false alarm on that deal. So, Jim Cornette back with us. All right, Cornette, the Midnight Express, the U.S. champion. And we have, of course, heard from the horsemen together. And as we said before, there are no friends in tag team wrestling. The sheep herders evident to that, the horsemen, the Midnight Express. And what is going on here? You talking about being suckered into that one. Down goes Big Bear Collie. <laughs> that has to be the biggest jerk that I've ever seen in my life. And believe me, around here you see a lot of them, but I'll tell you something. United States Tag Team Champions of Midnight Express in action in the ring. Who's this guy? The red shadow, black shadow, blue shadow, look at him. He ain't exactly color coordinated, is he? He don't know what his name is, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> look at that. Well, that's the best side of him. That's his best side. Can't even see out the rear view mirror this way. The back of his head looks even better than the front of it. Of course, ain't too much difference to begin with. Now, here it comes. Can you knock this How many fingers? How many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers? How many fingers am I holding up, fella? Yeah, he's right. He got it. I didn't even think he could count to three. You know something? The Midnight Express is on a quest here. Yeah, see, he's being sportsmanlike. He's being sportsmanlike. He's the one that did it. Yeah, right. Get him. Oh, now, I wouldn't advise that, fella. Now, don't break the podium. They've warned us about that. We'll have to pay for it. Again. Get the uh, red, green, blue, black shadow on in the ring now. I can see Big Bear Collie has recovered to the point where he may be able to find his way home by himself. The Midnight Express is on a quest for the World Tag Team Championship. Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, James J. Dillon. They have got a lot to watch for from the Midnight Express and Jim Cornette in the coming weeks. And I'm going to say, you know, my mother, I was talking to her last week, and she got on me for all the bad things I've been saying about James J. Dillon because she always taught me when I was just a youngster, respect your elders. And believe me, James J. Dillon is about as elderly as I've ever seen a man that was still walking the face of this earth. So, J.J., I want you to know I don't mean to say anything bad about you, especially about your age. I know you're delicate. Did you know when he was in school they didn't have history? Do you realize that? Well, J.J., I just want you to know I apologize for all the bad things I said about you and Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson. I want to apologize for some of the bad things I've been saying about them, too, because, you, you know, Arn Anderson was making a comment last week that when he used to ride around in the car with beautiful Bobby and Charlotte, a lot of people thought that he was with an ugly woman. Well, he's been seen with so many ugly women on the streets of Charlotte, it was a natural assumption. But as a matter of fact, when he was riding in the car with beautiful Bobby, it was usually Bobby driving because Arn Anderson was slobbering drunk and Bobby was taking him home because he can't hold his liquor to pour him into his bed at about 4 in the morning as a personal favor to the poor thing. All right, Bobby eating now. Going over here. He's going for a chair. Oh, going for a chair. Boy, this, this. All right. He's going to offer the man a seat. Well, that's awful polite of him. Oh. Close line right out of the chair. Well, I, we've talked about taking somebody out of their boots, but I have never seen somebody get close line out of the chair before. Are they going to do it again? Well, at least he's putting the mask where he can't see what's happening. Well, I guess you don't know until it's too late. Hey. Hey. Well, I want to tell you, they're gearing up for the Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard showdown. He looks like a real champion now, doesn't he? <laughs> in the ring right now, man. Big Bobby's got something else in mind. But like I was saying, Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson, you know, Tully Blanchard, he was saying that Sweet Stan Lane should spend more time, should spend more time thinking about wrestling instead of thinking about chasing women. Well, Sweet Stan Lane don't chase any women. Sweet Stan Lane stands still with his two feet firmly rooted in place, and the women not only dive on him, not only run after him, not only chase him, but they also, believe it or not, fling themselves at his feet and beg on their hands and knees for him to go out with them and pay attention to them. 
You see, Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson, they don't chase any women either because they don't get any women. The last time they had a woman was so long ago, they can't even remember where all the lumps are supposed to go. And speaking of lumps, I believe that boy's got a few more than what he started out with. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Tag Team Champions, not the red, green, black, blue shadow and Bear, Big Bear Collie, but beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan, the Midnight Express. This was, this was, this was a horrible display. And it a was- A very horrible display. Next time you watch it, get two guys off the street, two bums, two jerks, two morons, would have better wrestling ability than that.